Man, when I was younger, I thought if you see Wiz Khalifa and Meek Mill on the same track, that them dudes is really friends. Like, they really boys. They hang out. They go places together. They go to the movies. They go bowling. They hang out with females. I really thought that. But I grew up to realize that sometimes they are. Most times they're not. See, the music industry is all about marketing. And Wiz, he cannot put his best friend Josh or Paul on his hit song or in his single because Paul might only have four Instagram followers and negative 20,000 views on YouTube. So it's not good for the song. It's not good marketing. It's not if a label is giving an artist a budget, they're trying to maximize the profit. They're trying to maximize the productivity of the song. And putting Paul on that song is not going to help it at all. A lot of the industry is marketing and a lot of these artists are marketed to look bigger than what they actually are. Back in the day, labels used to buy physical albums to fudge numbers. Now they got streaming forums. They got rappers having fake dating lives, fake stories, drama, a lot of this stuff be fake. I'll be real with y'all, you feel me? Um, and the, but the truth about just being a rapper in general, if a label is behind you 100%, that's when you get... Travis Scott's you get Drake's Beyonce's and Rihanna's when the label is kind of behind you you get Lil Dirk's and Lil Baby's when the label is iffy you get Quilla Ray's and you get little TJ's so this is the first time ever that I ever seen a rapper coming out and addressing low album sales in advance before the album even before the first week sales even came out little TJ came out and said um the industry ain't helped me push the album y'all just streamed it thankful emoji hands man pretty much he was saying he's thankful for all his fans and everything but also the industry and his label wasn't a hundred percent behind now the truth is this the label was behind it to a certain extent because he got features from summer walker killer roy fabio jadakiss young boy and polo g the polo g one was probably love the jadakiss one was probably love the fabio is probably love but the yb summer walker killer roy drink probably paid for it that was a bag and then also to get it clear that was a bag too so those features cost a lot of money and they were harder to clear it's not easy to clear those samples to clear people's you know art like artists like summer walker it's not easy to get her on the album so pretty much i, I think they might have spent so much money on the last album and so much money on producing this album that they didn't really have much bread to actually promote it and not only that the timing just wasn't good for one, the album should have dropped around September last year, a few months after he got shot because album sales come from good music, but also stories and anticipation. That's the reason why Gunna's album just went gold that quick like that. It's a story behind it. There's anticipation behind it. Lil TJ waiting this long, it, it, the story died out and he had no other story. He's not dating like Ari or nothing like that. He's just, he kind of low key. He makes good music, he he streams, but he don't have no story behind it that's going to push it like that. He don't really have no quick hit single that's going to push it like that. And he ain't really just do a song with Drake or no big person that had his name out there. So, of course, he's going to do 22K the first week. Seemed like it wasn't really much put on marketing either, but I'll say this though. 22K the first week isn't bad. Um, It's a drop for him as far as numbers, but regardless, this is a good album, so it's going to keep streaming and streaming and streaming and streaming. And before you know it, by the end of this year, I can see this album being gold, or maybe a year from now, it could be gold. So it might not have a successful first week, but it's going to continue to stream. You feel me? Digital Thugs, my like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.